Uh-huh. Is this the most mutual respect that you've had for an opponent coming into a fight? Uh, no, nah, no, nah, I, re- I respect, you know, most of, most of my opponents. <laughs> so, um, nah, this, this is not the most. I definitely got a lot of respect for him, but, you know, I had a lot of respect for Sean, for Sean Porter and the Raquel Brook and the rest of those guys. It's just, you know, when you're getting on stage with somebody and he talking trash, you know, it's just natural for me to talk back. You know, I'm not a guy to talk too much, but... When somebody talking to me, I'm gonna talk back to you, you know. So, you know, but it is a it is a respect there, but it's not overly blown. Cause once once the bell rings, the respect goes out the door. You said you've had your eye on you since 2017. How long have you had your eye on him, and did you think this would it would ever happen? I have my eye on him once I got the third bell. You know, that was my chance. This is my chance to get the fourth bell, so that's when I had my eye on him, but. I had my own 2017. Hey, Arrow, um, um, he switches. One of the biggest things with him is that he switches from Southpaw to Orthodox. You are naturally a, a, a Southpaw. How do you prepare for that? And what is what gives you such an advantage being a Southpaw in, in this fight? I want to ask you why you switch. Switch what? You know why you switch. And what happened to, what is that thing Terrence Carr fought on? The OK Prime? Yeah. What happened? Oh, yeah. It, 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 it ain't happening right now. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, yo, 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 yo. You were so Earl Spencer, then you, you, once Terrence Crawford got with BLK Prime, you, that, that, you, uh, you flipped. Hey, Earl, people are just like the switch. Earl, do you believe is going to be the huge advantage come fight night? Because obviously we can see that, you know, we're doing the face off a little bit taller than him, and a lot of critics say that that's one of the keys to victory due to that. Um... Nah, I just feel like, you know, it's going to be a lot of justice in fights. I feel like the fight going to, you know, switch and, you know, it's going to be back and forth, momentum switches and things like that. That's what you get with great fighters, but I feel like I'm just going to put on a great performance. I feel like the size wouldn't matter because, you know, he he's, he he should, he looks like, you know, he, he's right on weight and he's right there, so, you know, he would see we would probably be, you know, the same size once a uh, fight week. So, <laughs> so after the FaceTime conversation, uh, did you guys realize that no one was ducking each other and that it was an easier fight to make? Um, nah, it definitely wasn't an easy fight to make after talking to each other. But you know, it just you know when you once you, you just pride and other things gotta get put to the side for 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 the bigger objective for things to happen. So basically talk to each other and just, you know, hearing the stuff that he wanted and that he needed. You know, I'm a very, you know, rational guy and understanding dude, too. I understood, you know, the stuff that, you know, that he wanted and the stuff that he was asking for, you know, and I and I couldn't knock him forward. So I was just like, you know, on some of the stuff, you know, I just you know, put my pride down and just, you know, let him have it.